Is your Windows 11 PC feeling slow and sluggish? Well, don't worry because today we're gonna to show you how to clear your RAM cache in Windows 11. We'll be using a free, simple, and safe tool provided by Microsoft that allows you to clear your RAM cache, giving you back those valuable resources. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So the first thing we should do is open up Task Manager to see how much RAM is actually being cached. So head on down to the start menu here at the bottom or the start icon. We're gonna right click on that, not left click, but right click with our mouse. And a little menu is gonna pop up that looks something like this. And task manager is right here. You can go ahead and left click on that and load that up on your system. Now from here over on the left hand side, go ahead and select performance. And then we wanna go ahead and select memory here. And now we can see how much RAM is being cached here at the bottom of our system. So I have 4.3 gigabytes of RAM being cached in my system, which is quite a bit. Now I'm running a system with 32 gigabytes of RAM, so it won't be as big of a difference as if you're running 16 gigabytes of RAM, but it's still a lot of RAM being used up. So we're gonna clear that out right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this for the moment, and we're gonna load up our browser, and we wanna do a search for RAM map, all one word, and we should see the website here, Microsoft Learn RAM Map, and I'll have this link below in the description as well so you can easily find it. We'll load up that website, and Microsoft is giving us this software, it's called RAM Map, this is version 1.61, and we can go ahead and download it right here from the Microsoft website. Because it's coming from Microsoft, we know it's safe. So we'll go ahead and download that, and it's downloading here into my downloads folder, and maybe I'll just Put that there on my desktop so we have easy access to it. So let's go ahead and extract that folder. So find it in your downloads or on your desktop, wherever it's located. We're gonna right click on it. And in the menu, you should see extract all. Left click on that. And it's gonna allow us to extract the files. So you can select where they're gonna go on your computer. I'm gonna leave mine on my desktop. But you can hit browse here and find a different spot if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and hit extract here. It's gonna extract those files and it popped up automatically for me, but it also created a new folder here on my desktop. We'll go ahead and double click on that, open it up. And this is where we're gonna find all the files we need. Now there's a few of them here. There's a text document and then some applications. The one we're looking for is the first one here, RAM map. It's an application, it's the largest one. And what we're gonna do is right click on it. We wanna run this as administrator. So where the text is or the little icon here to the left, or we'll right click and then you should see run as administrator here and we'll left click on that. Now I have a pop-up that you can't really see but we're gonna go ahead and hit yes on that and it's gonna load up RAM map for us and it'll do its thing here and come up with all sorts of information. There we go. From there, let's go ahead and bring back our task manager and I'll put that off to the side there so we can see it along with RAM map at the same time. Now you can see the cached RAM has gone up. We're running at five gigabytes now of cached RAM. So let's show you how to clear that RAM out. So back over here in RAM map, what we wanna do is head up to the top here where it says empty. We'll go ahead and left click on empty. It's gonna give us some options here and there's empty standby list here. So watch what happens to the cached RAM over on the left there once I click on empty standby list. We'll go ahead and do that right now. So it goes from five all the way down, now it's at 199 megabytes or just over 200 now. And it cleared our RAM cache out just that quickly. And really it's that simple to clear out your cache here in Windows 11 with RAM map. I highly recommend keeping RAM map on your system. If your system's feeling bogged down, you can clear out the cache and free up those valuable system resources. So hope this video helped you out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.